Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at how to use a number line when we're adding and subtracting two digit numbers within 100. So let's start out by reading a word problem. Amaya collected 53 shells at the beach. Wyatt collected 49 shells at the beach. When they lay them out side by side, how many shells do they have? So for our number line, we'll just start by drawing a blank line and First off, let's think about whether we're adding or subtracting here. Just think about what the words are telling us. We know that Amaya collected 53 shells at the beach. We also know that Wyatt collected 49 shells at the beach. And they're asking us to put them, lay them out side by side to tell how many they have. Because they want us to put them together side by side, we know that we're going to be adding. So if we were to start with zero and go up, to 53, all right, that's where we're beginning with Amaya's 53 shells at the beach. Then Wyatt collected 49 more shells, right? So to do this, let's count up 49. So from 53, we're going to count up 49. We could sit here and count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's going to take all day to do something like that, to count by ones. So a faster way might be to start counting up by tens. So let's go 10, 20, 30, 40. So now we have our four tens that we counted up. Let's just mark this right here so we remember we counted by tens. And then we'll count up nine more ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. And now let's just count up from there. 53 and 10 more is 63. And 10 more, 73, 83, 93. And now it's time to count on ones. For this, we'll just count on. We won't bother writing it. 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102. So we went above 100 on this math problem, but that's okay. 102 is our answer for that one. So when we put their shells side by side, we end up with 102 shells. All right, so that's doing, a, that's doing an, an addition problem. So now let's try to see about doing a subtraction problem. Okay, Talon has a car that is 78 inches long. And Emily has a car that is 41 inches long. How much longer is Talon's car than Emily's? So do they want us to put their cars together and find out how long they both are? Or do they want us to find the difference? Difference. So the difference is that area between one number on a number line and a bigger number on the number line. It's that whole area right there. How much are you going up or going down is called the difference. All right, so normally we think of subtracting when we think about the difference. So let's read it again. And this time, we'll try to work it out with a blank number line. Talon's car is 78 inches long, and Emily has a car that is 41 inches long. How much longer is Talon's car than Emily's? So for our blank number line, we're going to find that difference between the two cars. So there's a couple ways we can go about doing this. We can either start with the 78 and work our way backwards, or we can start with the 41 and count up to solve this subtraction problem. I know a lot of people are really good at counting up, so I'm going to start by counting up. And we're not adding, 
we're just going to find that difference, which is that the space between the two numbers to find out how much longer tailings is than Emily's. All right, so if we start at 41 and we're going to count up to 78. Now this one's a little bit differently different because we're not adding 78. We're not going to go up seven tens and then eight more ones. We're going to just count up to 78. Okay, so 41, we could go by ones, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, all the way up, but that, again, that's going to take all day long too. So let's just count by tens until we can't go up anymore. We want to get as close to 78 as we can by counting by tens until we can't go any further, and then we'll count on the rest of the ones. So 41 and 10 gets us 51. And another 10 is 61. And we're getting a little bit closer. And another 10 would be 71. And now if we go another 10, we're going to be at, right, 81. And that's too far. We only want to go to 78. So we're at 71. Let's count up by ones at this point. 72, uh, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78. And just double check. 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78. Good. So now those are ones. So let's go back and pick the pieces up and see how much we went up to get up to 78, right? 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. We went up 37. All right. We could have done the same thing. If we wanted to, we could have done the same thing going backwards. But again, I think it's a little easier for most of us to count up than it is to count backwards. Um, so we could have gone 78, 68, 58, oops, 68, 58. We're getting down. We're going to go to 41. It'd be 48, and then let's count down the rest of it because if we go down another 10, we're going to be at 38. So let's go 47, 46, 45, 44, 43, 42, whoop, 41. Got to remember that when we go back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. Either way, we're getting the same answer. It's just a little easier usually to count up. So that's it. Let's give a couple of these a try at home, and we'll see you in the morning. All right, bye-bye.